everybody it's breakfast time it's breakfast time and I'm hungry so let's make something now I was thinking like a pie or a quiche for today um, but they didn't have what I needed at the shop in other words they didn't have any bread uh, any flour so I got what they did have okay they had a, a mix I'll explain this later it's Yorkshire pudding mix I don't know if you Americans have heard of Yorkshire puddings but that's what this is it's easy to make okay but we'll go into that later so basically this is a, a breakfast pudding okay uh, there is a, an English variation of this called toad in the hole it's similar to toad in the hole okay so basically what you need is a Yorkshire pudding mix a bit of uh, pepper and then whatever you fancy to go in a breakfast okay personally I'm choosing some sausages, some bacon, a potato, some cheese, mushrooms, beer, eggs and brown sauce. Now, brown sauce you won't be able to get in America. Don't worry, you don't have to use it. It's just an English thing. I like to use it. You use whatever you like. Beer again. You can leave the beer out, but I just thought I'd throw it in. You know, it's breakfast, why not? So, yeah, I'm going to make you a breakfast pudding. Um, the good thing about this recipe is you can prepare it the night before. Once you've got your mix ready, and you can basically cook, half cook all your breakfast things, have them ready, and then when you wake up, it's all there ready to just throw in the oven. So, Right, first things first, cook some sausages. Simple. I prefer to put mine in the oven. I know most people grill or fry the sausages. I put them in the oven. It gets all the fat out of the way. It's much cleaner. Just put a bit of foil down, throw that away afterwards. Much better. Um, I've used frozen ones, which I've let thaw out. They didn't have any fresh ones. There's nothing left in the shop at the moment. Because the caravan site's closing down soon, so they're just running out of food now. So I'm going to stick them in the oven for about 25 minutes. I also wanted to add some ash browns, but they didn't have any in the shop. So I thought I'd just get a potato and cut it into some small cubes, just to add a bit of crunchiness. So I'll get this cubed and I'll come back to you. I haven't got a potato peeler, so I'm having to use a really rubbish knife. Um, and I'm no good at cutting potatoes with a knife, so that will do. I'll just uh, throw them in now with the sausages. Right, we'll have some mushrooms as well. They didn't have any mushrooms at the shop, there were no mushrooms. So I got a can of mushrooms. They'll have to do, they'll have to do. So I'm just going to fry them off a bit now. Um, just take a couple of minutes. Okay, the pan's hot, let's fry these bits. One good idea, if you do use canned um, mushrooms, empty the, empty the water out first. It, it, they tend to fry better if they're not in the water. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of this. Hang on. Right, I haven't got any oil. They didn't have any oil at the shop. So, as a substitute, I thought I'd, I'd just use a bit of beer. You need something in there just to help it fry up. You know what I mean, to brown it off. So I'll get them in with a touch of beer and uh, just wait for them to fry up nice and brown. They're nice and coloured now, so we'll just put them in this uh, pot. Bit of kitchen foil, kitchen paper down, get all that fat out of them. Well, beer. In fact, no, I shouldn't have put that in, should I? We want us beer in there. It might... Uh, adds to the flavour. Right, so you've got your mushrooms. It's time for the bacon. When it comes to bacon, always, well, bacon, sausages, anything like that, always buy them from your local butchers. You've got to help out your local businesses, yeah? Um, my butchers were shut, so 
I had to go and get this from the supermarket. I hope he doesn't mind. Uh, best back bacon. That'll do the job. So yeah, I just want to fry some of this off. And I want this as crispy as possible. So it might look a bit burnt to you, but to me it's not. So I'm going to fry this off. So a bit of uh, beer in there. Because we haven't got any fat. Get your bacon in. As much as I can fit in the pan, really. I do like bacon. I don't like the fat though. That's why I have to have it very well done. I need the fat to go crispy for me to enjoy it. I'm not a fat person. So yeah, I'll probably get four or five pieces in there. Leave them to cook. Okay, there's my bacon. Bordering on burnt. Lovely, just how I like it. Okay, the sausages and potatoes are ready. I've just browned them off a bit more in the frying pan. And now I just want to cut the sausages down again into little bite sizes. Whew. I advise you wait till they cool down before you do this. Right, so that's that. You've got your mixture. You can make all that the night before. Let's move on to the important bit. Right, now it's time to make some Yorkshire pudding mix, okay? I don't know if you've heard of it in America, it's like pancake mix, uh, savoury pancake mix type thing. Uh, basically, I made this one earlier. It's very easy. You can get the recipe off, uh, off the internet. I made this with a bit of wheat flour, uh, milk powder, salt and dried egg. It's as simple as that. So I've got this mixture. Right, to the mixture I have to add one medium sized egg okay now I've got these today brown eggs I've never had a brown egg they've always been white with a yellow middle so this is going to be quite interesting to see how these turn out so I get one brown egg you crack that into there make sure you don't get any shell in there If you do get any shell in there, make sure you get it out. <coughs> Which is easy to do, you just have to scoop it out. So you get to... Uh, you get your mixture with your egg. Then you've got to add the water and the beer. Um, 200 millilitres of water, by the way the mixture I made, I made approximately, how much did I make in weight, about 142 grams, something like that, um, and in that I'm putting uh, 200 millilitres of water and 20 millilitres of beer, not much beer, and we put that in there. Now you've got to whisk it up, whisk it up. Now I haven't got a whisk. Um, but I've got this, you, you, can, you can use this for potatoes. But I thought it'll do the job. So whisk this up thoroughly it says, uh, I say. And just keep going until you've got a very nice uh, little mixture. What I would advise is if you have got a whisk, um, I, I, I would use a whisk for this. It does take a little bit longer with one of these. But hey, there we have it. We have a nice, a nice consistency look. It's got a few lumps in it actually. I'll just get them lumps out first and then uh, we'll crack on. Next step, I'll get a baking tin and I'll show you what we do next. We have to put the oven on to gas mask, gas mask, gas mark 8 which is 450 degrees Fahrenheit okay because it has to be very hot one thing I almost forgot is a bit of pepper in there it's not essential and you don't have to put it in at this point but I'm putting it in now um, right, get a, some kind of tray, I bought this at the shop the other day quite impressed £1.29 butter it so it doesn't stick Firstly, I'm just going to put a little bit in the base. 
just enough to cover the base and put that in the oven for five minutes. Right, after five minutes bring it out, it's starting to go hard now and throw in all your goodies. Now, because this is quite small I'm not going to fit all this in so I've got to be a bit careful spread it out evenly want some mushrooms in each corner, some sausage in each corner some potato all over this is going to be nice man honestly if this goes wrong I'm going to be gutted because it looks beautiful and I think it will be nice. I'll save that. I'll have that tomorrow. I'll have to buy another. I'll have to make another thing though. Right, put the rest of your mixture over the top. Make sure you cover it all. Yep, that will do the trick. That will do the trick. Now I'm going to add a bit of brown sauce. As I say, this is an English thing and it isn't necessary. But uh, I do like brown sauce with my breakfast things. So I'm going to slap that on. I'm also going to add some cheese. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you da -da 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 -da, breakfast pudding. Lovely! Look at that! Look at that! Let's get it on the table and see what we've got. Wonderful! A meal fit for a king. Or queen. Not sexist. Right, let's tuck into this. Wonderful! Oh, it appears to be cooked perfectly. It's nice and crispy on the top because of the cheese. It's nice and brown. Oh, this is going to be special, I can tell you now. It's not stuck to the pan, not much anyway. Alright, it has a little bit, a little bit. Hang on, hang on. There, it's come out. Ow! It's hot, it's hot. I've got to be careful with things like this because they get hot. It's not cooked. It's not cooked. Let's put it back in the oven for a bit. Breakfast pudding. Take two. Lovely. Now then, something I might say, it might not be a good idea to add the cheese because it, it adds a lot of grease to it. One wonderful, wonderful meal. Now, what I'd suggest, I haven't got any garnish. I wanted to garnish it for you so it looked really nice. I haven't got any, so I thought I'd improvise. Use a pepper and an egg. And there you have it, gentlemen and ladies. A beautiful, beautiful meal. Now, I'm going to start recommending something to drink with each meal. I've got this lovely, lovely wine, this lovely number. It's called... Uh, Lambrini. Um, it's made on the grapevines of, uh, let me just check, Liverpool, Liverpool in England. It's a nice sparkling number. So let's tuck in and give this a try. Bacon to perfection. Obviously it was pre-cooked. Mm, mm. Another success by Deep Fried Dan. Mm. So come on, dig in, everybody give this a go, send me your pictures, I'd love to see them. Thank you very much for watching, please click subscribe, leave your comments and I'll see you all with another recipe very soon.